Welcome back to It's Like That. I'm your host, Roberto Ramos. And today, it's just me and Pablo again. You know, Jordan, doing Jordan things. And then David, I texted him. Because remember last time I, I didn't text him? Well, you didn't so, send him the invite again? No, no. So I texted him today. I was like, hey, man, we're going to do the podcast around like 7.30. No response. When did he text him? Uh, Probably like around 6. It's probably because of the Yankees lost. Oh, Wait, yeah, Yankees wh- what are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean? That one, that mic's not on, right? No. <laughs> so why you have two mics? On? So they can hear me better. But that one's not on. That's what you think. It's off. Not for them. All right. Anyways, bro. So you just finished playing basketball with yeah. Jordan. Yeah, bro. I'm nice, dog. Bro, I was telling him it's crazy because obviously I'm not like, I mean I'm not crazy good, but compared to what I used to be, I was shit. Like my shot would either go over the backboard. Oh, yeah, to you're, the left you're of the terrible. backboard yeah. or to the right of the backboard, like no shot. If I were to shoot it from you in the mid range, it's like I'll leave him open. Now it's all, like all you, yeah, all you were good at was like driving in, if that, and then defense. Uh, my defense was always good, but driving in even back then was like, yeah, maybe he'll get one or two. But now it's like a five on five is different though, because like there's so many people. Like yeah, you have to count on so many people. They have to make you have to make sure that they see you on the court. Not only you know? that, but you can have like two like six footers in the paint. Then what the hell am I gonna do? But in one on ones or two v twos or three v threes, even I'm like, I just got one or two guys to beat. Well, over there, it's like I gotta go through this guy. Then there's three people over there. It's all crazy. But you got done playing basketball too with Angelo. Yeah, yeah, my uh, my my good friend. Boyfriend? No, my good friend. Boyfriend. I am straight. How many times have I'm I not tell- saying that? But like, he's your boyfriend though. He's a friend and he's a <laughs> no. Boy. He's just my friend. He's a boyfriend. He's just like, my you know friend. how your girl, the girls like, oh my girlfriend. Like, no, I'm like, I'm not a girl, so I don't have to. I know, but you guys can say that too. Like, no. you're my boyfriend. No. Jordan's my boyfriend. No, my, like <laughs> no. you guys are my boyfriends. No, uh, that's just my friend, my boy, my homie. Boyfriend. <laughs> no. Anyways, um, yeah, he's been in Japan, Okinawa. He's he was stationed there. For two years. I haven't seen him in two years. That's crazy. Does and he look different? Yeah, in a way. Um, in I mean, that, at one point, people start stop changing, I guess. But. Yeah, like, he looked different, but, like, not, like, dramatic. Like, yeah. it's nothing, like, I was, I really just missed him. Like, yeah. he, he was my, like, we were good friends, like, before in high school. Went, yeah, yeah, before he went and stuff. And it was just good to see him. We were playing basketball earlier today. And Is he yeah, back temporarily, though? So, yeah, he's, he's back for 10 days, and then he's gonna he's now stationed in North Carolina. So, he's not oh. all, he's not across the world now. Oh, okay, not bad. He's in the States. I mean, I guess he, I bet he's going to miss Japan a lot. No, he said that he, he – he said, first of all, he said he hates his job. And then, second, he, he was like, make sure that uh, when my two years is up, that I don't enlist again. <laughs> Bro, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him. I mean, obviously, I've never been through it, but I'm not some sense into him. Yeah. Right, don't – because they'll tell you what, they, what you want to hear. And they'll be like, you know – Thank you for your Dude, service. Dude, you just that. take the freaking mic off. What you mean? There, that, that's not on. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're using the one over there. <laughs> Do you want me to turn it on? Just give, give me the mic. Do you want me to just turn give, it on? Yeah, just give me the mic. Do you want me just to turn it on? Just give me the mic. Why are you being extra? <laughs> Guys, I am literally... I do a podcast with uh, <laughs> some people just that don't think. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> What are you doing? I don't I'm even know which talking one. to the people. Bro. I don't even know which mic, like, you, which one is on. Does can they even hear you? All I all, all you need to know is that I know which one's on and which one's off. But they both make me feel better. I, they both do. Yes. So, I guess whatever makes you feel comfortable. You know, having one mic, you know, is, it makes me feel comfortable. I bet you feel lonely. No, I don't. Look at that other mic, segregated and discriminated and abandoned. It's a mic. You spent money on that mic. Yes. I'm just using your money to good use. One of them is not on. It don't matter. Oh my god. The reverb off this off one <laughs> is, is not going to pick up anything because it is off. Y'all going to hear me better, watch. And y'all going y'all going to say something like, "Yeah, Pablo sounds crisp this episode." And I'm going to tell you, bro, the two mic thing is the move. What, but one of them is off. That's the key. Yin yang. One's on, one's off. My brain. It's all balanced. My brain hurts when I'm talking to you, bro. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I, I think I just overthink it. That's what it is. I thought you said you zone me out. I, sometimes I do. But when you when I'm physically looking at you, you use two mics when one of them is off. It just makes no sense to Which me. Which one's off? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I actually don't care either. Does this bother you? No, it, actually, at this point, 
Who cares? You, you want to add the third one? Yeah, give, you wanna, give, you wanna give me the third one. Yeah, give it's me, not gonna happen. I'm not give that, me yours. No, you're not gonna. You're just not gonna have the, all of them. No. I Anyways, know. you said that uh, you went to uh, a Ben in asylum. Yesterday. Yeah, yeah, or so we thought. So it's really weird. In Sefner, off of Exit Ten, apparently there was a a, a Ben in a mental hospital or some shit. I can't confirm if it's true or not, but shit, we have nothing better to do, so we've been going back and forth like for the last year, like once a month or something, just to go over there and spook ourselves out. You've been around the area, yeah. Too. I've been around the area, yeah. So the first time we've ever went, the gate was open. It was a large gate, and it's really ominous because it's just a dirt road leading up to a second gate that's gating at the time a big building. It was just a dark, shadowy building you can't see. It's like two in the morning, and we're like, "What the fuck?" Do you think that the 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 reason why at that time it's scary is because it's 2 a.m. and it's dark. Hell yeah. But like if it was 2 in the afternoon, sunny out, you'd be like, I can, I can, do, I can do this. Yeah, I can walk there. But at the same time, you still got to worry about those those people with shotguns. Like, get off my property. Bro, when I was with you guys, we we were driving in the graveyard and y'all were just driving over freaking like the, that area yeah the, uh, over like by the tombstones yeah it's just yeah because like, there's a little trail yeah there. there was a little trail but like if y'all would have like steered off well little, dre did <laughs> dre ran over a tombstone oh my gosh there's people lives there well they're dead but they're, they're it was property. like a it was like a ran down like bro he it was terrible it was an accident but it was awful but yeah so then we went back to the asylum yes last night literally today but we got home at 4 30 but we were there like three in the morning and then the first gate was open. I was like, it hasn't been open in months, bro. We were like, what the fuck? We went, just me and Jensi, and then we went back to Steak and Shake with Dre and all them. And then we were like This was yesterday, right? Yeah. We we're like, Justin, you wanna go wanna go again? Um wanna go with us? And he was like, Yeah, sure. So he took us over there. We went through the first gate and then as we were approaching the second gate, that shit was open. The second gate was open. I was like, get in that shit i was like drive in that bitch drive and we drove and it was just grass i was like i looked at jensen i was like where's the building we didn't see a building but so the first so time they, we went so they knocked it down i'm guessing but the first time we went everyone there saw a building now there was no building so i was like what the fuck Th- was did it look like there was ever a building there when you yeah, went yeah it was a big ass field because like in my head i'm like why would they have a no big i'm saying ass- like did like in in the area like on the grass or like did it look like there was ever oh, a building it was there? just so dark bro it was way too dark because like there's no lights there and our, our, our uh, high beams could even only take us so far like a few feet up so it was like we can't see anything like we can't see rubble we can't see nothing all we saw was like from here if i'm the driver a little bit past that wall right there and it's just grass but Bro. the first time we went, like, I don't know why, but it was, like, I guess, like, a a brighter night. And, like, we saw the silhouette of a building. But well, what if, to, like, on some, like, on some spookiness, yeah. like, there's no building there, but, like, on some just, nights you just, see a building? Yeah, that'd be dope as fuck. That's just crazy. I wanted them to keep driving through the grass, but they didn't listen to me for whatever reason. Bro, I don't know how you guys be doing that spooky stuff, bro. It's just, like, you're just looking for trouble. I mean, like, I get it. Like, I don't know. With with me, it's just like I I don't believe it. Like I don't believe in ghosts. But then there, there's but you like don't that. Want to find out. Yeah, like there's this like when you're in a, in that setting, when you're like into a abandoned asylum or you're in a in a haunted ho- like a haunted house or like whatever, you have like the goosebumps. You just you just yeah. feel like there's something there, even though there's nothing there. And then anything you hear like a little like a rat like on the wall you're or like what the fuck you're like, like you're like oh you're like you're just like on edge yeah and then i hate feeling on edge so like that's why like i don't really like scary movies like that and that's why i don't really like going see that i'm the opposite like i get thrilled like how you would get thrilled on a roller coaster and i hate roller coasters yeah it's like the same thing but roller coasters they're secure like no, you're strapped fuck, they're you're not. strapped in you're good what is it uh, not really people have died on roller coasters. yeah the, the people have and like falcon fury is like not nothing to play with, dog. I don't know. I just love it. I do not want to rely. You don't even want to. You don't want to jump off a plane either. Yeah. What the fuck would I want to do that? That sounds so fun. How is that fun? That just I don't know. Just dropping down ten thousand feet. That's just like and you that's, see the, that's just increasing you see, your chances of dying. You just see like the ground and like you're just like 
fa- free falling and you're just like bro the, the chances of something right now killing you right now is so slim but then once you get on that fucking plane and jump chances go up skyrocket why the hell would i do that see i could drive to the asylum and i could just be like oh you know it's all fun and games whatever but i could just drive off with the air, when you're jumping off an airplane, you just it's one way down. It's like you better hope that parachute opens. Well, there's an emergency parachute. You better so hope the emergency parachute. We're opens. all we're, we all prepare like they prepare for that kind of stuff. All right. So we're, so, we're, we're when you're in that setting, you're safe. Yeah, because no. I one's think you're ever, more likely. No, no one's ever died. I think you're more likely to die by hippo than you're crazy than to die in no. um no in the air from um skydiving. Maybe statistically speaking, because a lot hippos be killing a lot of people, but. You and I, no. You're more likely to die skydiving because when the fuck are we going to come across a hippo here? Yeah, we don't live in that area of the world where we can see like a hippo just walking the street. Yo, bro. You think when hippos walk the street in those areas? I feel like they're like, just, like, just chilling. Who the hell's going to stop them? <laughs> He's just like, you know, guys, uh, yeah. I just feel like walking today. <laughs> so, bro, fuck that. Bro, yeah. have you seen them open their mouths, bro? Yeah, there's like 180 degrees. It's just like, it's like, I don't know. And imagine just. First of all, um, like any animal that like wants to mess with a hippo knows not to mess with a hippo. Like you don't see yeah. like I think an I animal would, just like bother it. But if I ever find myself within their grasp, like their mouths, I'll probably just do a split and hold their mouths open. So you know if, they, if, mouth if you ever like if you ever found yourself in the mouth of a hippo, mm-hmm. I think you know, and the hippo knows. That you're not getting out of there. No, but like, you know how they open their mouths like 180? Mm-hmm. I'll like follow the same like path, but like I'll keep my legs like split and just like, keep my legs like from I keep, think from closing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. my legs keep its mouth from closing closing on me. So, so I'll be like, and he'll be like, I'll just take my pants off. Might as well get some head, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do this podcast by yourself. It's only us two, but you know what? Yeah, I, I, Mike. I have to. I have to. <laughs> I have to leave. What's you just point? say you go get head from a hippo? Hippo head. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, if yeah. David was here, he'd agree. Yeah, well, David agrees with anything you say because he wants to bother me. Okay, well, if Jordan All was, of you do. If Jordan was you, here, he'd agree. Jordan, David, all my friends. All my all my friends love to bother me. Not Angelo. Yeah, you're right. So you just put him under the bus for no reason. What? Well, I didn't put him under the bus. You said all my friends. So he's not your friend. Oh, yeah, he's my oh, friend. Oh, he's not your friend? No, he is my friend. But you just, you just said but all like my friends. But the majority of my friends, bro, like 95% of them like to bother me. Because they know I have like a short fuse. What you mean? Yeah. How am I bothering you? Because I want hippo head? You, the, well, you know, I've been staring at you. You used two mics for the past like 12 minutes. What's the problem? Like, you, you asked me to, to fix the stand for you. I fixed it. And then you just... Now you're holding two mics. Bro, this is effective. It's not effective. How is it not effective? I think, first of all, it's heavier. You, then one of the mics is not on, and you still are holding both for no reason. It's not bothering the viewers. I mean, we have loyal viewers. We have loyal listeners. They, I actually don't no. think that. I actually, I actually want to know what they like and what they don't like about this podcast. They probably don't like me. I, I'm pretty sure they. I've had people come up to me that, that listens to the podcast that I know personally they said that you they like how funny you are which I don't get how he's funny but anyways were they guys um, were they guys yeah were they cute I don't look at guys that way I do though so that's, what that's what I'm asking I know so I'll, I'll give you their their names and then you can pursue your 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 interest nah I can't do that off camera because I'm straight off camera but on camera you're not straight yeah bro how does that work? So, like, in, in certain settings, you're you're not so straight? Yeah. So, right when the camera's like, when you like, so if someone's to take I'm a picture. I'm fabulous when the camera So, so if someone's to take a yo, yo, Pablo, I need to take a picture with you. Like, and, then, and then you, and then that's when you're sus. Yeah. But, like, if I'm not taking a picture of you. That's when I'm hard body. You're hard body. What's up? Bruh. What is, I honestly don't know what goes on your in in your mind, either with Jordan as well. You guys think the same way? Like, we'll be... Why does we'll, everyone say that, bro? No, we'll be, like, having... Like, I'll have a, a normal conversation with, like, let's say, Ivy Jordan's uh, girlfriend. And then all you see in the left corner of our <laughs> eyes is Pablo and Jordan just hysterically laughing about <laughs> a situation or a scenario that can never happen. Like what? But I don't know. Like, you said 
that um uh, like there was like there would be a gorilla inside like you guys were like worrying about like yeah. if a gorilla came in yeah. and just started like beating me up <laughs> or, or like destroying me yeah. it's fucking funny as fuck. yeah like but like there's no, there's no gorilla in the area yeah but like but you think you imagine <laughs> imagine but yeah you guys be thinking about the most bizarre things you don't ever like what, you don't like what we think about no and I don't like what you text me either. It's what? Just, you, your mind is just... Oh, my gosh. You, yeah, sometimes you don't reply to me, bro. Yeah, because I don't want to. Why? Because of what you say. Like what? Uh, I'm not going to give the examples, but... <laughs> for Yeah, I'm not going to give... It's, a, it's not appropriate. What about the, what about when I added you to the group chat with David and I just sent y'all pictures? Yeah, like see, those are, that's why I don't want to be a part of it. First of all, every group chat that I'm in... They make it their mission for me to get out of the group chat. So <laughs> why do you leave every single one? Because bro? you guys know what bothers me, and then you guys just continue to do it for like thirty messages, and and then like it's just like annoying. So that's uh, why I leave. Well, I think. By the way, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I just got I just thought about it. Um, I'm coming back Tuesday night, so I don't work Monday. Tomorrow, I'm. Leaving Wait, you work tomorrow. tomorrow? No, I don't. You don't, I don't work. work tomorrow. Okay. I'm leaving tomorrow night. I work Tuesday, but I'm coming back Tuesday night. Because you don't work the rest of the week? I don't work Wednesday. And uh, aren't you guys going to Buffalo Wild Wings? I don't know. Or Pazookies? I thought they were leaving Tuesday. Are they? Yeah. Well, Jordan, I guess we'll talk about this later, but I thought we were all on the same page. Because usually, if you guys don't know, I'm only I'm here because, you know, I'm going to do the podcast and I'm going to hang out with my boys. I live in Lakeland. But as a part-timer, I work three days a week. And they bless me up next week. I'll, I'll just work Tuesday. And then I work Thursday, Friday, and then I'm off Saturday, Sunday again. So it's the life. And they were fake. They didn't invite me to the Buffalo Wild Wings last week. Because you live 45 Pazoo- minutes or, away. Or, and then got Pazookies and then watch Joker. I haven't seen Joker. You have and seen Joker. And, seen and Joker you live 45 invite. minutes away. But yeah, you know. No invite. Like, <laughs> David didn't get the invite here. Like, I could text David right, right I now. I invited him. I'm going to text him right now. But like, yo, did Barrow invite you? Anyway, so you, you work tomorrow, but don't work to Wait, no, you don't work tomorrow, but you work Tuesday. And you're coming back Tuesday, and then you're gonna go back Wednesday night. Wednesday well, night. Yeah. A to, lot of driving. to work to work Thursday. Why are you coming back for one day? Cause Jordan said that he was gonna go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I haven't been there in a minute. Get Pazookies at BJ's. If y'all don't know what Pazookies are. Fire. He put, he put me on. It's like fire. A cookie platter with ice cream. Eighteen hundred calories of greatness. Eighteen hundred. Uh, they're they're yeah, up there. They're a lot. Fuck. They're Whatever. up there. And then you're getting Buffalo Wild that, Wings. Buffalo, so Buffalo Wild <laughs> Wings, it's buy one, get one. So if you get a small, you actually get a large, right? Mm-hmm. And then um, right after that, you go to $3 Pazookies. And then after that, it's $5 Tuesdays for movies. So yeah. Like, but, um, yeah, they, he didn't talk to me about doing that. Oh. Well, I got to talk to him when I get back there. And, and he told me today that he was leaving Tuesday night. Oh, well, I guess I'm not coming back. Fuck that then. Wow. I guess I'm gonna stay home. I don't know it, it might it probably might happen, but that's what he told me, and then he told you something different. That makes sense though, because their concert is the twenty third. What's today's date? Why the hell am I talking about this? Yeah, why? Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're just like we're <laughs> making plans, and they're like, <laughs> yeah, uh, we don't know. Yeah, podcast, <laughs> we don't know. That you know, we're not with them. They're like, yeah. we don't care about these plans. I don't know what I'm gonna do after this. So what are you doing after this? Um, I'm going to uh, be depressed in my room. Really? It's gonna cry. You want me to hold your hand? No, I don't want you to hold my hand. Bro, we should go eat. I already ate. I asked you. For, for, they don't care about this. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're, we're sorry. You know. I'm not just, sorry. I'm not done. I was gonna say you want to eat dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I said, I don't like you know having him on the podcast, but he's a co-host, so he has to be on the podcast. <laughs> but but um. Would you trade me for Will Smith? Yes. In a heartbeat. Yes. That's a, yeah, that's some big ass shit. You guys don't want me on the podcast when Will Smith comes on the podcast. Because you didn't believe that we can get Will Smith on here and we will. Actually we've been going back and forth. Yeah. What you have what you say to Will? I was like, yo, Will, how's it been? It's been a long time. He was like, Yo, what up, dog? Yeah, how you been? I was like, you know, busy, you know, I, I'm sure you know that life too, right? You know, <laughs> you got kids and shit. And he's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, Well, uh, I don't know if you were interested, but we're running a very successful underground podcast. It's called It's Like That. You've probably heard of it. Very known. You, you've heard of it, right? Um, and we're wondering if you want to just come on, like you know, we we squeeze some time in for you. Um, you know, it took us a lot to do that, but you know, we can, we can get you on for for a couple minutes if you're interested. Um, you just got to pay for your flight, your hotel, your food, your stay, and all that stuff, and you got to make time out of your your schedule and calendar to come on board. But 
you know, we'll pay you back in exposure. And yeah, he was like, dude, that sounds great. So actually, he was going to come today, but I, um, his plane crashed. <laughs> oh. I'm knocking on wood. Come on, Will. His, we don't want you to do that. His plane crashed into uh, a trampoline park. Yeah. And then, like, he bounced back to his house. It was like some weird coincidental shit. But yeah, he, like, crashed, hit the trampoline, and went back home. And he was on his couch, he was like, fuck, bro, I can't make it. You won't believe what happened. I was like, no, I believe you. It happens all the time. And then, um, yeah, so we were texting, and he was like, I'll be there next week. So next week, Will Smith will be back here, but he's going to go by boat this time, so none of that shit could happen. So so they should expect Will Smith next week. Yeah. But not me, because I can't be on the podcast yeah, when so, Will Smith comes Yeah, so home. Will Smith actually brought that up. I was like, that was one of his, like, catches. He was like, bro, like, you know, I'll be on the podcast, but I better will do that. Kind of sucks. I don't want him on there. I was like, yeah, understandable, man. Like, if you follow our podcast and if you listen to us, like, you'll know that, like, he's kind of weird on, on a lot of shit. He's just weird. And he was like, yeah, bro, like, um, so I, I'm in as long as he's out. And I was like, yeah, we've already all agreed on that. So we yeah. all agreed? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I didn't agree. Well, it doesn't matter. But me and how, how can the host of the podcast not be on the podcast when Will Smith is on the podcast? Because it makes no sense. Majority rules. No. It's one co-host. <laughs> Dave is technically a co-host at this point. To be honest, and Jordan's another co-host. We all agree that you got to be out. You guys all agree. Yeah. Wow. I might have. To. So, um, in the comment section below, I'm looking for uh, three co-hosts um, to send your applications into the comments. I'm gonna read your resumes, and uh, I'll, I'm gonna get back to you by three to five business days. First of all, are we even gonna have guests again on this? Episode? I don't know. So, people people say like we're good, like without guests. Yeah. And then people say like. They want guests, so I don't know. I don't know. First of all, you guys have to let us know what's going, what, what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. And if you guys want guests, if don't you don't want guests, know. don't even watch this shit. Don't even listen to this shit. Don't waste your time. I'm sure you have homework or dinner or boyfriends and girlfriends or dogs and cats and lizards and iguanas and shit to do. Why the hell would you waste 25 minutes listening to this shit? We only do this because we have nothing better to do. Like, if we didn't have the podcast, he'd be depressed in his room, and I'll be plugging shit in my ass so yeah th to, to pass the time we we usually you know just grab two mics and start doing a podcast and shit so what the fuck are you still doing here <laughs> if you're if you're literally still watching and listening to this you're you're a strong person yeah you, you guys <laughs> you're if you made person. it this if you made it this far wow <laughs> we love you yeah, for so sure just do us a favor and just don't after this episode just don't come back no, 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 don't. This, this is why resumes in the comment section, <laughs> please, because he can't make it next week. Even though Will Smith's coming next week, he's not going to no, make I'll it. I'll be here next week. I, matter of fact, I'll be here Tuesday night, bro. Pazookies, dog. If that happens. If it don't happen with y'all, I'm going to go by my damn self. <laughs> I'm like, table for one at B Buffalo Wild Wings. And I'm going to go to BJ's. Table for one. And I'm going to go to AMC. Seat for what one. What movie would we see if we was to get the $5 movie? The Joker. We already seen it. But we didn't see it on Tuesday. We seen it on Tuesday. But I saw it on Saturday. Okay, but I seen it on Tuesday. But, but we gotta see it again. No, we don't. You didn't like it. I, I mean, it's it's a good movie. I just don't want to see it again. Why the fuck not? Because I don't. I just know what everything happened. Like I just. It's demented. I just. It's, I just know all the outcomes of the movie. I so just, you've never seen a movie t twice. I have. You never wanted to see a movie twice. I have. This this one, not one of them. But. But you said it's because you've already know what happens, but you've seen movies twice. No, I just this movie I just don't want to see twice. Speaking of twice, My Hero season four has come out with their second episode and it's pretty garbage so far. Oh, you've seen both? How are you seeing yeah. it? Jesse put it on Funimation. Uh, damn. I don't I haven't seen You're not missing out yet. I'm not missing out yet? No. I'm no. thoroughly disappointed. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah Pikachu gets sliced. Why do you always mention Pikachu? Like Have I? Yeah, that I think mean, last that is last the first time I mentioned Pikachu. Last week you mentioned Pikachu. Roll the tape. I'm sure I haven't. I'm not gonna roll it, but we're gonna pretend like we're rolling it. Yo, I'm counting down the I'm counting down the seconds before we can shut this, these mics off, bro. Cause I hate talking to these guys. These guys, it's just me I'm talking to the people. Oh, you? Why you? I don't even know. You don't <laughs> agree? No, it's just like. How do you feel talking to them? I know. I, I just first of all, I really enjoy the podcast because it's like twenty five minutes of just like venting out, you know, about what happened in the week, and then I don't know. I just like doing it. It's just fun. 
So I you appreciate can, I, everyone who watches and Yeah, I appreciate every single one of them. Like from the bottom of your heart. From all of my heart. Nah. You wanna ask me how I feel? How do you feel, Pablo? They alright. They alright? Yeah. If y'all know some baddies, send them his way. <laughs> but if y'all got some some dudes, <laughs> send them his send way. my way while on the podcast. Because he has to have a camera on him it's to my be. character. Yeah. It's but really outside of the camera, you're straight. Yeah. Because cool. for whatever reason, he's a homophobe. I'm not a homophobe. You he's can't a, just throw those words out there. <laughs> I'm not a homophobe. I'm, just, I'm, I'm accusing you of homophobia. I'm not a homophobe. That's why, that's why I act this way, because it bothers you. Huh? It no, it doesn't bother me. If you want to... The, the, I think the one reason why it bothers me, because I know... You're not, you're not sus. <laughs> you're not sus. So you're just doing it for no reason. That's why it bothers me. What do you mean doing it for? You're no doing reason? it for no reason because you, you like girls. That's it. I don't like girls. Oh my gosh. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and listening to this podcast. If you're watching, don't forget to go in the description. All the platforms are in there, and please comment. We want we want to see some comments. What we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. And if you're listening, pay attention to the road. If you're listening to us while you're going to sleep, have a good night's sleep. All right, guys. We love you and we appreciate you. you. What? And keep an eye out for hippos. All right. Peace.